Okay, so first lesson for algebra. Some basics to get started. <clears throat> so, a plus a just equals 2a. Okay, now when we're adding any number together, depending on how many we have, that's the number we put in the front. So, if I had a plus a plus a plus a, there's four of them, that would be 4a. Basically, it's exactly the same as 2 times by a, we just don't bother writing the times in. So, obviously, that's the same as 4 times by a, we just don't bother writing the time sign in. Okay, so what if I have 5a plus 2a, that equals 7a. You just add the numbers together, you don't worry about they're both a's, so they can just add together fine. That's no problem. If you want to, you can think about it this way. You've got a plus a plus a plus a plus a from the 5, and you've got a plus a from the 2. So there's 7 of them. So it's 7a. The same if you're taking away. If I had 5a take away, 2a, that would be the same. I just have a plus a plus a plus a plus a, and I need to take 2 away. Just get rid of 2, and I've got 3 left. So it equals 3a. That's what's actually happening. It's like having, saying, 5 balls plus two balls, except we're just saying A's instead of balls. So we've got five sweets, someone takes two sweets away and end up with three sweets. That's all these A's are just representation of something. So that's adding and taking away. We can introduce also other letters, so we might get slightly more complicated and have 2A plus 3B plus a plus 2b. So what we've essentially got again here is a plus a plus plus b plus b plus b. Sorry, that was a bit messy. I'll do that again. Plus b plus b plus b plus a plus b plus b. So how many is we've got? One, two, three. 2a plus a, 2 plus 1, 3. How many b's? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 5 b's. If you wanted to start with, you can write them out like this. If you really don't feel you need to, don't bother, but some people do find it helpful to write it out for you like this. And again, it would be the same if we were taking away. If we had 2a, if we had 3a minus 2b minus 4a plus 6b. This is slightly complicated. We've got 3a minus 4a. They always look at the signs in front. So that corresponds to the 4a. So 3a minus 4a. Remember doing our number lines from before. If we go to the left, so we end up with minus. So we've got a negative a. We've got minus 2b plus 6b. Remember, this minus corresponds to this b. It's in front of it. That's what corresponds to it. So minus 2b plus 6b. So we've got minus 2. And we work our way up the number line. And we get to 4b. Okay. There's lots of these questions for you to practice. Get to uh, grips with the basics of algebra. And then we'll come back and we'll do some more questions.